I don't care what time it is. This is an emergency. Kim, pick up, pick up, pick up. Uh, Ron? Are you a synthodrone KP? Be honest, I can take it. Ron, you had a nightmare. Good night. Wait, before that part where you melted, we, we were at the dance and... We kissed. Yeah. Did you have the same dream? No, that part really happened, Ron. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but it won't happen again if you keep calling me in the middle of the night. Man, love is complicated. <sighs> <sighs> you okay, so-called boyfriend? <sighs> but it also means you must date a jock. It's... It's non-optional. It's like a rule. Ron's the exception to the rule. Hmm. He's the reason for the rule. If he can't step up, trade up. Now, Ron, promise me you won't obsess on Bonnie's little whatever, okay? What little whatever? The whole must date a jock rule. Hey? Oh, yeah. Yeah, whatever. Let's see how you dance. Okay, let's see you pass. Oh, man. Ball? Oh, who doesn't like to toss around the old pig puck? You mean pig skin. Whoa, KP. One sport at a time. Braun, this wouldn't have anything to do with that trash Bonnie was talking. What? Uh, no. I'm just fleshing out the resume for college. Well, I guess football reads better than flooding the school cafeteria. Huh? Oh, right, the chess club incident. The first rule of chess club is, you do not talk about chess club. Um, how much longer is he gonna be that way? Moving in the pocket. And... That's a 30-yard completion! Oh. Um, uh, go Mad Dogs! First and ten in Lowerton Territory. Oh, call the crash card! Good night, nurse! He's okay! I'm so proud of you, Ron. I never knew you had this in you. Never. <laughs> like you, I'm full of surprises. <laughs> yeah. You know, some of us are trying to have a social life. <laughs> Oh, you can The football game. <gasps> Ron! You... You stole my battle suit! Secret borrowing! <gasps> you were in my closet! Look, let me explain. Okay, first off, this suit pinches! Not that it doesn't look good on you! You cheated your way onto the football team! Yeah, but that was just a perk! I was really trying to cheat on you! <sighs> For you! Uh, to win you! <sighs> wait, wait, it's not what you think! Oh. So you're not a cheater, a liar, and a thief. Okay, it is what you think. But Kim, I had to do it. I couldn't risk losing you. What are you talking about? You weren't going to lose me. You agreed with Bonnie about dating John. What? Oh, Ron, I was talking about Monique's cell phone. Oh. Uh-huh. You weren't gonna... Trade up my BF. <sighs> I don't care about dating a jock. I care about dating you. Ron's stoppable no matter who he is. As long as he's honest. I'm sorry, Kim. I, I never meant to hurt you. No, it's not me. It's your battle suit. Okay, T, our first fight. Even as a senior. <laughs> hey, stop hitting yourself. Ah, my battle suit. <laughs> okay, this is the big moment. I don't need a suit. I can do this. I can. I can. I'm out of here! Where is he going? Gee, Kim, is that your boyfriend out there running like a sick chicken? Yeah, that's my guy. Wait, he's turning around. Unstoppable, stoppable is. Wow, he's breaking the all Middleton rushing record. You do me proud, Ron Stoppable, by just being you. Yeah. Okay, Kim, Yeah, I know it's late, but... How many times do I have to tell you? We kissed. We're dating. So you leaving me for Rufus was... Dream. <laughs> me being Middleton's new running back? Dream? 
no, that actually happened. Oh, I'm on a team, that's cool. Okay, how about you water skiing over a shark? Not after the recall. It means a lot to keep her in the family. I hope you like it. It's, uh, it's great. Thanks, Dad. This needs a little work. Treat her right and you'll be driving this car for years. Years? Ugh. Oh, come on. Might not be that bad. You know, let's see what's under the hood. Ah! No! Get him off me! Get him off me! Oh, even if I do get this heap running, I couldn't actually be seen in it. Motor Ed and Shigo? Why would they be working together? Well, I mean, weirder things have happened. Look at us. True, but there's a major diff between weird and wrong on all levels. Now pop the hood. Oh, no, no, no. I remember what happened last time. Oh, oh, man! Oh, man! Kimberly and Possible, who shall be known as the Car Monkey. Could you not call her that? Thank you, Ron. Oh, no, not for you. It's for me. Still got some monkey issues. <laughs> That's it. Party's over. Let's go. Good timing. We just matched the high score on Space Squids. Oh, never get to have any fun. Oh, boys. They're all tweebs. No mocking the hair. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You know, I know the basic boyfriend rules, Kim. Your new haircut is fabulous, and those slacks are very flattering. Thanks for the sensitivity. Sorry, but we're contractually obligated to mock. Okay, just get it over with. It's no fun if you help. Okay, here's the deal. I may have to drive you to school, but that doesn't mean I have to be seen with you. So duck or walk. Aww. Now! Well, I'm not you. <gasps> okay, it's Bonnie, so stay there. Showtime. Hot B. Oh, you have a car, Kay? Begged, borrowed, or stolen? You wish? This is all mine. Oh, taking it in for the recall? Nuh uh we customized it ourselves, and it can blow the doors off any car, anywhere, anytime. It's a babysitter car. <laughs> the only ride you're going to need will be to the hospital. So I, I just have to jump onto a speeding rocket? Pretty much. Ron, take the wheel. Uh, wait, before you go. <laughs> I had nothing to do with this. Ron, they're magno rings. They'll help you hang on to the side of the Kepler. <laughs> right, that's, that's what I thought, you know, they were for. Skipped ahead. We're freshmen! We're here. No! Hey, my lady could use a sitch. What you got? Hit on your website from Bertina. Bertina? Superstar in need. Booyah! So where do we meet her, huh? Concert, club, private yacht? Jail. Oh. So, Bertina, as a pop superstar, I'll bet you miss out on stuff like school dances with, you know, normal, average guys. True. Friday, dance, you, me, average guy. No. See? Was that so hard? Only to watch. Thanks for the ride, Mr. Sinclair. Oh, it's the least I could do after you tutored my Kenny in calculus. Derivatives of inverse functions. So not the drama. <gasps> can you not? You can use a big boo Eh, why would I? To be cool? I am cool. <gasps> we don't have a model to wear the gown under the necklace? Yes, you do! Right here! Oh, Ron, I'm not a model. Well, why not? You're beautiful. Well, I guess it would be a spanking way to keep tabs on the necklace. Hmm. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah, you'll do. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, I, I guess if everyone thinks I'm a model, <laughs> this is kind of expensive. Not the kids' menu. Might I recommend the nuggets stew chicken or the griddled fromage? Hello! Kids eat free! Ron, not the coupons again. You don't mess with a good thing, KP. We're not kids. At least I'm not. Right, right. So if anyone asks, you're under 12. Ron, I can't. I know what you're thinking, Kim. You do. Garcon! Hi! This baby otter isn't gonna color itself. I know brown. 
I mean, what's closer to honor for, red or blue? Ron, this is ludicrous. I know. I mean, you'd think a swank joint like this could spring for a real box of crayons. Oh, and you know what? Watch your vocab, Kim. Ludicrous is kind of a grown-up word. Remember, you're 12, so maybe doofy or stupido. That boy needs a job. I hinted. Don't hint. Lead by example. Me? Work at Club Banana. It'd be brilliant having you here. And it might give Ron the right idea. Uh, I don't know. Him? Employee discount. I'm in. <laughs> Welcome to Club B, girl. Ron, about these coupons. Aren't they great? Not commenting. If the stuff in that coupon book was worth anything, they wouldn't be giving it away. I won't dignify that with a response. Because you don't have one. Well, duh. Why else do you pull that line? I'd better get to work. Kim's starting her new job today. I I'm working at Club Banana now. You know, Ron, if you had a job, then you'd have... Impossible hours? No. Mean bosses? No. On the job injuries? No! Money! You'd have mad money! Oh, yeah, that reminds me, KP. Can I borrow five bucks? Why do you need cash? You have coupons. I just wish I had some money. Oh, man, that's what Kim was talking about. She thinks I need to... Get a job. Get a job. Get a job. Uh-huh. That's right. Monique may be on to something. Now, if only I could find one. Aquatic capability. Oh, we thought you said could you add aquatic capability. Oh, I can see how they make that mistake. Ha, <laughs> look, fish! I got a job at the zoo. They're hiring people to feed the lions. Isn't that dangerous? AP, it's the zoo. AP, it's the zoo! They tried to feed me to the lion! Are you sure you didn't just mess this up? Well, I, you know, I did skip orientation, and you know, I brought my own raw meat from home, and maybe all the poking the lines with the stick was wrong, but no. <laughs> oh, he, he's my idol! I've read his book three times! You read a book without it being assigned? Man, you know, you are snippy lately. I knew this job thing would lead to this. You mean you not holding one? No time for snip, KP. We gotta save him. Them. Uh his first job selling popcorn balls out of an old wagon. I don't even own a wagon. I'm just a failure. Oh, oh. oh, you're not a failure. You're a... Well, okay, you, you have failed a lot lately, but your luck's bound to change. Kimmy, we've been expecting you. We have indeed. Would you care for a salty snack? No, thanks. We just stop by to foil you two, and then we'll be on our way. Hold up, KP. What kind of salty snack? I like to reward people who save my life. And I like to be rewarded. <laughs> Did you hear that? Gave me a reward. How would you like a job? Maybe we have different thoughts on that word reward. Ow! Oh, right. A job. Yeah, that'd be good. Wow, thanks. Outstanding. You are the type of go-getter I need on the Smarty Mart team. Welcome aboard. And this time, no coupons. Tonight, Garcon, we'll take the grown-up menu. Ron, this is really great, but do you have to wear the Smarty Mart vest? KP, the vest never comes off! Now where are my crayons, Garcon? <laughs> Garcon! I think Jim and Tim are doing a great job as the new mascots. Yeah, great job making like fools. Ron, did you ever look at yourself in the Mad Dog Mirror? Yeah. Save the world, unwind with nachos in a movie. Bust a villain out of prison, it's the Hoity Toity Express to Super Spaville. Saving the world has other perks too. Such as? Cuter boyfriends. <laughs> oh. <laughs> a booyah. Run! Ah! I'm on vacation! And I'm trying to relax! Ah! Okay, I get. Oh. Failure has never sounded so soothing. <laughs> Last time, where's Draken? What am I, his secretary? No, his sidekick. See, it's the mad dog. The mad dog, singular, not two. So puppies, which is plural, doesn't work. No way, no how. It's a gimmick. Yes, exactly, it's a gimmick, that's what I said. Now, the mouth foam, on the other hand, Mad Dog Mascot 101 is now in session. Fall in, soldiers. Dog soldiers. Mm -hmm. Come on! Ron? Rookie, did I get permission to speak? Permission to speak? Denied! You think you got what it takes to be Middleton mascots? 
Well, we'll just see about that. We were thinking of calling ourselves the Pep Puppies, and... Aha! No! No puppies. There's only one mad dog. The mad dog. But... but... What's wrong there, big dog? Hey, no putting people in containment fields, remember? Not our fault. It's just that Ron's really... bugging. Ron? Were you bugging? Ron, maybe you're taking this whole mascot thing a little too... Lightly? Personally. It is personal, Kim. This is my legacy. I mean, the pet puppies are gonna be a laughing stock. You couldn't really see out of the big mad dog head so much, could ya? Oh! Pet pup. Uh. Oh. <clears throat> Got a jet. Draken. In the middle of the game? Man, now he's just rude. I can handle this one. Really? Okay. But, you know, it's not the same without you here cheering. You've got the pet puppies. Ugh, please! You know what the worst thing is about those puppies? That they're actually pretty good and you're gelling. Stop that. What? The true thing. Ron, you've moved on to the field. Now they're cheering for you. You should be happy. ba ba da da I think someone owes me a diversion of the dating kind. Nacos in a movie? <laughs> Yum. Sounds out of this world. <laughs> nice color. Wrong too. Okay. Really? No fighting? Unfortunately, my caper includes a grievous accounting error. A duke's ransom isn't worth half a king's. Add the helicopter drones and nano jetpacks, I'm losing millions! Nano jetpacks? You had to ask? Inventory, Kim. Two stories high! So you sort, you pile, you trash. Like when you cleaned your room. We promised never to speak of that dark day. Uh, Mr. Barkin? You feeling okay? <laughs> This crate's not getting to you, is it? Of course not! But why do you keep calling me that? Mr. Barkin? Uh, he's Mr. Barkin! Moo? Props on the look, GF, but I'm the real Camille. So, uh, Cam, yeah, that whole danger excuse? <laughs> Turns out you know your stuff. So do you. I was jealous that you got to see the designs. Forgive? Forget, but, um... Can we pick this up later? Oh, Kim's. Which one is real? Hmm. That one. You know, I may not know where we are or what's going on, but I know my own girlfriend. No, Ron. You don't. Just a minute. Patent shoes. 100% silk blouse. Arrest her! Good eye, Monique. Okay, look. Uh, the crate trappage may have affected my judgment. I was sitting with a cow. He was talking to a chicken and the... Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be the only senior in a class full of freshmen. Why didn't you take it freshman year? I, um, had other priorities. Ow! 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 Yeah, that was a busy first semester. A lot of you teenagers like to hang out at fast food joints like Cow and Chow or Oino Nacho. Oh, no, he didn't. And places like that are fine sometimes food, but not every. Single day. Nice! Ron, um, your diet could stand to be a bit more balanced. Barkin got to you! No, a uh, healthy food can be good. Look, salad. Want a bite? We know Nacho has salads. Wait, where's the seasoned ground beef? The, the hand pumped cheese? Hello, it's a salad. Lettuce, tomato, dressing? Hello, it's a salad. <gasps> Lettuce, tomato, disappointment. Whoop, whoop! Overreaction alert. Which side are you on, Kim? Whoop, whoop! Do you see what I see? Uh, fresh wood shavings in all the cages? No, those hamsters are eating their vegetables. Crunchy, nutritious vegetables. Oh, yeah, they are. They've got... Wait a second. You're trying to teach me on Smarty Mart time! No, I wasn't. I was on break! I'm calling the manager! Kim! Did you know that Bueno Nacho has breakfast? Uh, the wave of Dia. I, I can practically live here. Ron, you do practically live here. Hey! Are you short of breath, yes or no? <laughs> no. How's your reaction time?
You're sleeping more than usual, aren't you? Don't bother to answer. I have witnesses. There's nothing wrong with my reaction time. Don't you ever get tired of eating like a rabbit? Ask the one eating like a pig. Look, I know we all like our playful teasing, but I think you crossed a line, Kim. Yeah! Right. Totally unfair to pigs. What's the situation? There's something brewing at Henchco. Something big. We got something big here, too. Another line crossed! Man! <laughs> hey, P! <gasps> okay. Who wants a piece of me? Uh. Ooh, something's different about him. Gah! Go have your tongue to yourself, laddie. You look ghastly, man. You really should take better care of yourself. Ow! Okay, somebody lowered your doorway. Better get that fixed, Mr. B. <laughs> Ron, you have to stop this. What you're doing, it's not healthy. For you, or for us. <laughs> Kim, I've got something to prove here, okay? <sighs> Ron, snap out of it. This isn't like you. <laughs> okay, that's like you. Ron, Ron! <laughs> What do we have to do, Wade? Make him eat fruits and vegetables. Right. That'll be easy. We can do it! It's every freshman's dream. Force feeding vegetables to a senior. A mutant senior. Just don't hurt him, okay? Oh! Run! Hate my day! Run fast! Okay, ninjas. Attack! <laughs> Impressive. But brute strength is no match for Taishing Pequa. Uh-oh. Ron, are you all right? Uh, oh, Ron, loose pants. So, did we learn anything? By we, you mean you. Did you learn anything? Well, some of the stuff on that wheel is kind of tasty. Ron. Eating a balanced diet will keep you from turning into a mutated maniac? Yeah, something like that. Say to your crushing parenting burden with patience, tenderness, and love. Oh, yeah. How do you love a... She has my eyes. Okay, now you've seriously taken the deep leap. You turned your bedroom into a nursery? Wait, when did you turn your bedroom into a nursery? I didn't. Wait, why is my room a nursery? Because, Ronald, son, our family has adopted a precious little girl. Wait, you, I, wait, why didn't you tell me? This is our way of telling you. Ronnie, meet your new baby sister, Hannah Stoppable. Got a hit on the site from the Yamanuchi school in Japan. Yamanuchi? Yori? Yeah, she said she needs stoppable son right away. Wade, you better fill in some blanks, pronto. To help her, both of you, including Kim, who she asked about, fondly. <whistles> nice save. I don't know, ron san has got his own sitch right now. So many sitches, so little time. The intruder sacked Saki. I don't know what that means, but here, I'm running out of hot water. You won't regret it, sir. I will take great care of Saki I I. Saki I I. It's Roman numerals, KP. It adds the aristocratic touch. <laughs> Besides, you only add Saki too for like two seconds. Have you a heart of stone, woman? Right. So, new subject. How do you plan to break the news to Yori that we're a thing now? Thing. You mean a couple? Aye aye. I'm sure that she's gotten over me. I mean, to the degree that any girl can. <laughs> Uh, right. Full disclosure, got it. Always good to see you, Yori. <coughs> I mean, we can see each other as long as it's clear that we're not seeing each other. <laughs> Japan! Hey! So this is a real mission? <laughs> Same Stoppable-san with his inappropriate clownish streak. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> she can count on you, Ron, but not for everything, right? <coughs> what are you saying? Ron, maybe you should tell Yori the big news. What? Oh, you mean the intruder. Not that news. Oh, right. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. So, see, I got this new assignment in health class. Ron! The thing is, him and I, we're not just friends anymore. We're kind of, well, dating. I see. Totally didn't mean to break your heart or anything. I believe my heart is intact. You can admit to a little emotion sickness if you want. 
Ron, she said she's okay with it. Kim, where are you going? The attic is this way. Come on, Ron. Don't you want a little peek at the cutie? <laughs> cutie. Wait, and play right into the intruder's plan? Thank you, no. There's no way Barkin would ever have given you Saki V. I mean, five. Oh, well, actually, this is Saki V I I I. Saki eight? Just how many Sakis are there? <gasps> Ron! What? Just a sec. Hey, Kim, got the location of the final shrine. Oh, oh great. Okay, I I'll meet Yuri there, and Kim can babysit. You and Yuri? Um, no. Hmm. World's least violent baby. And the winner oh. is... <laughs> <laughs> hey, you sure are a giggler, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, well, you know, even evil can be cute sometimes. Where is Topobo-san? My boyfriend. I mean, Ron's babysitting his sister. Then it is how you say girls' night out. Something like that? Sure. But it's time this kid found out what it means to be the sister of Ron Stop. Yeah. Come on, Rufus. <laughs> Intruder. Let's go. Oh, yeah, and you too, Saki XXII. <laughs> Don't ask. Hmm. This is a mild setback. Calm in the face of danger much? Very much like you, Kim Possible. Ugh. This is so complicated. Not after you face the wrath of Ron Stoppable, Rufus, <laughs> and Saki XXXVIII. What kind of hero brings a baby on a mission? A baby and a bag of flour. Ah, yes. That explains everything. So, Yuri, are you really okay with Ron being off the market? Off the market? You know, mine? The Unstoppable Son is your destiny, Kim Possible. Like change, we must always welcome destiny. Yori? <laughs> you sorta kind of rock. Domo. Never threaten Rod Stoppable sister! <laughs> sister. Oh, great. That means I'll have to buy the cheap knockoffs. Sorry, they blew out of here at a buck ninety-nine. Even the knockoffs are gone? Really need my old mission clothes mojo. Ain't no mojo in clothes. That's not what makes Kim Possible possible. No, I think I'll keep you around, Ron. Uh, unless, you know, what if those were your lucky duds? The secret to your success without which you could never defeat Draken or Shigo again or anyone! Of course, that's just one theory. Sorry, gotta go! Oh, don't tell me he's touring colleges too. Oh man, now I'm in a funk. And it's not a good look for me. Bueno Nacho later? <laughs> I think I'll keep you around. Hey, are you gonna order anything? Waiting for my boyfriend. For two hours? Hmm, Ron a no-show on a three-for-one Chimarito day? Hey, Kimmy, your boyfriend says not to call him anymore. She go and drag and have Ron. I need a trace on Ron's cell phone. Looks like I've got a new college to visit. Good. Glad you're not letting your fashion disaster take your head out of the game. Not when Ron needs me. Mission gear or no mission gear. One tube of nanotronium. A booyah. Nice move. And best of all, I didn't lose my... Uh-oh. Oh, man, what is the deal? Before we go, I got you a little present. For what? Well, today's our half anniversary. Oh, that's great! <laughs> What's a half anniversary? Dating for six months, half a year. Oh, cool! Look at that. It's a yeah, it's a bell. I figured it would help you with your pants problem. Hey, P, I do not have a good gift. <laughs> hey, I need those back. Kim, you all right? Kim? Kim who? Possible. What is? You are. Am what? Kim Possible. That so doesn't sound like a name. Have KP back in time for dinner. After school, I'll give her a refresher around Middleton. It'll be like a second first date. Are you kidding on me? Um, Kim, we are dating. I'm your boyfriend. Boyfriend? <laughs> oh, wait, you're serious? Oh, that wasn't painful at all. Serious, no, see, look, see what I just did? It's boyfriend stuff. So, do you remember now? No, but thanks for the salad. But just learned to walk, Kay? Except for Bonnie. Bonnie? Oh, Bonnie. She and I are on the same cheer squad, right? So, we'd be friends. Yeah, you know, you'd think, but it's a complicated girl thing. Real sketchy in some areas, particularly relationships. You know, she needs to remember things on her own. So don't expect Kim to just... Monique? <gasps> Monique, I remember you! Kim and I are dating, right? Uh, maybe she needs to remember things on her own. Okay, yeah, I mean, I said that, but... And we shop together all the time. That's right! Ah! Let's see if you remember how to use that credit card! Ah! 
Uh, must be another complicated girl thing. How is it you remember everything but the fact that we're a couple? Couple of what? People who are dating. Are you sure that we were dating? I mean, sometimes people read a little more into things than they should, right? Oh, Wade! Better. I'm starting to remember stuff. Not the important stuff. I'm just saying. I don't know if this is a good time, but Chico's been on a crime spree. Robbing banks, jewelry, spy tech, anything she can get a hold of. <gasps> we should call someone. We are the someone. Okay, you saved the world using your mad cheerleading skills to fight bad guys. <laughs> no way. That's silly. Who'd ever believe a cheerleader could do that? <laughs> well, get her. Are you sure that I know her? Sure, sure. I was a senior when you were a freshman. Oh, and you owe me ten bucks. Oh, I'm sorry. Here. What are you... No, don't give her money. And she's older than that. A lot older. So I like the sun. I just step back off, sidekick. Wait, 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 Chico. You tell her. Kim and I are dating, right? What? For real? Oh, come on. That never made any sense to me. I mean, see? That wasn't a no. <gasps> no, no, don't bring it. She doesn't remember how to fight. Ooh. AP, you're not ready. Oh, you're gonna... <laughs> Kim, I need you to remember how to help me. Caitlin, rockets are go. Sign, Kim Possible. Ahem, what are you doing? Andron. Look. Hello? Late for practice much? Okay, don't let Bonnie get to you, and whatever you do, don't listen to anything she says. You'll be fine. Ah! I don't know what your problem is, Kim. I knew this would happen when you started dating Nako Boy. Aha! Kim! You see? Do you see? I'm Nako Boy! Yeah, I shouldn't listen to what Bonnie says. No, I mean, I... Oh... But you lost your memory! Wade filled in the last piece when he alerted me to you jumping this train. Well, not the very last piece. Ron, not now with the dating. Well, if not now, when? But one drop of this will turn you into a mindless zombie. Um, Ron? Oh, man, that's so tanks! Good plan, but that's not why I gave you the belt. I remember. I remember! I gave you the belt for our half anniversary. Yeah, I still don't get what exactly that is. Ron, I remember that you're my boyfriend. And that I think I love you. For real? For real. Now this is a memory. Hey, how come you're not at work? Yeah, pet department's closed for a while. Some cages were left open. Food chain issues. Um, what's with all the hearts? I'm gonna go get some more stock from the room with the stock. You do know what happens in February, don't you, Ron? Groundhog Day, President's Day, Dental Health Month. Ooh, that reminds me, Rufus. Ta-da! <laughs> Happy Dental Health Month, KP. It has a tongue scraper on the back. <clears throat> Valentine's Day? Oh, uh, I don't celebrate. I mean, I, you know, I never had a girlfriend on... <laughs> Holy cannoli! I have a girlfriend on Valentine's Day! <laughs> wow! This is huge! I'm gonna teach you the fine art of charming and disarming. Uh -huh. You? Yes, me? Uh, excuse me, who is dating Kim Possible? Oh, yeah, but the laws of extreme improbability inexplicably worked out in your favor. And we'll make them work for you, Playa. Oh, did it note? Oh, um, the humble earthworm is vital to agriculture. It moves through the soil by excreting lubricating mucus. Ew! Okay, wait, that's my biology report. Wait, oh, that means... Oh, that's a lovely thought. A-plus, Stoppable. A-plus. I thought you said the Eiffel Tower was in danger. It is in danger. Of rust. Yeah, eventually. That's the reason we had to hurry off to France? And tell me again why I'm here. Back up. Yeah, I doubt KP and I can handle this baby alone. And did you know it's the City of Lights, not Lice? Ron, you want to tell me why we're really here? Wait, Paris? The two of us? Valentine's Day? Wow, you're being romantic. And me as backup. Okay, that's not really a bun warmer, is it? Because my bun is lukewarm and Monique is all hotty hot. Okay, it's a device that makes girls fall in love with me. I invented it. What? That's great! That's, that's wrong! Oh, so wrong! Wait! Wait, which, which means it wasn't my mad love school skills? Well, you gave me the idea for the love rate. That's something. Me? No, I didn't. I mean... <gasps> 
Oh, so when I said, and then you thought, then you did? Yep. Oh, Kim's so gonna blame me. It's for you. Run. Um, it looks like Junior and Senior have stolen plans to a certain device from my room. What sort of device? Uh, um, uh, uh, let's Okay, okay! Wade invented a bun warmer that makes girls fall in love with him. I knew that bun warmer wasn't right. It was Ron's idea. What? Not intentionally. Wait, disappointed in both of you. Let's not play the blame game, KP. Unless you spot me ten points and give me a head start. <laughs> All right. What's wrong with just going through the front gate? Right. Good idea. Just one problem. Ladies only. <gasps> oh, no you don't. They did. Hey, I've done this before. Of course, I was brain switched with Kim at the time. A simple date, just like you said. Not exactly Paris. But it'll do. Happy Valentine's Day. Aww. How could you possibly think playing with love is a good thing? How's the girlfriend? Olivia? Terrible. Wait, but I thought you found out she was a super genius just like you. She is. Turns out she's built her own Cupid Ray. Oh, sweetie Peach, I missed you this much. Uh, you don't think Kim has one of those? Uh -huh. Hey, Ron. What are you doing? Nothing. You're weird. Kim. Shh. I like weird. What are you doing Saturday night? Whoa! I'm guessing Bueno Nacho movie. Three hours of you trying to win a stuffed frog from the claw machine at the Middleton Mall. Drop! Wait, are you saying that our date night has hit a cut? <laughs> It could use some shaking up. So he takes you to dinner, you two see a movie, big tap dancing, whoop. We do that stuff together all the time. But would you mind moving over, Elaine? We're 8% less likely to get into a bone mangling accident. And you're about 50% more likely not to tick off your girlfriend if you're 100% less annoying. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Where did you get your numbers? <sighs> Look, KP, I, I just want to keep you safe. Because if you got hurt, it's too big a loss to compute. That's the most weirdly romantic thing you've ever said to me. Oh, don't you ladies know 60% of all slip and fall injuries occur because of wet floors? <laughs> Whoa! I'm a possible, as in anything is, we defy the odds. Hey, P, do not anger the odds. I like you, don't I? What are the odds of that? Slim to none. See? Which only proves my point. If you're with me, then what other statistical horrors can befall you? KP. Uh, Ron? Three little words. Electromagnetic field radiation. Well, okay, yeah, not exactly little. Oh. Found a website about it. These electro-whatevers are everywhere. Is that right? Not to worry. Here. I'll take my chances with the electro thingies. EFRs, and they can cause all sorts of bad things. Yeah, bunions, overbites, memory problems. Hey, you forgot this. See? <laughs> sure, they're a well-oiled machine, but they don't have Ron's secret weapon. <laughs> Paranoia and irrational fear. You know, 38% of all splinter mishaps are caused by manual lifting. Did you know you have a 17% chance of losing your good looks practicing martial arts without the correct padding? Yep, one out of every two homemade explosive devices backfire. Ron, can I get a booyah? Ah! On it! Ah. Uh. Ron, I can't believe. Yeah, I know. Guys, I'm still here. Oh. Oh, right. Just evening the odds. Oh, no. On the upside, Ron is surviving way longer than I thought he would. Isn't it romantic? Statistically speaking, there's a 99% chance that whatever you do to me is gonna hurt real bad. Oh, you can count on it. Check your figures, Shigo. Ron, you were awesome. Yeah, I know. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> uh.
Uh, Ron, what are you doing? Watching TV. It's a Monday night tradition in my family. Actually, it's an every night tradition in my family. But you're not supposed to be... That's not TV. It's fireflies. Up, 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 up. Gotta see how the car chase ends. I can talk during the commercial. Thank you. Okay. Where's Ron? Don't ask. Might break a glass window. And let in the ocean! Mm, they have a point. <gasps> a very sharp point. <gasps> I promised Ron he could do it. Have I taken over the world? <laughs> Somehow I thought it'd be drier. Oh, yes! I've worked out a very special calculation for you, my meddling little friend. Yes! Ah! That's right, math freak. Nobody messes with my boyfriend. You so asked for this. We need a shield! Use Ron! Let's see if I can get this thing to work. Hey, hey all right! Whoa! Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, that's nice. <laughs> I was starting to think I'd never get to do that again. <gasps> oh, uh, hi, hi, Ronster. We were just talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> talking about me how? Did it have something to do with pants? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, refill time. Sometimes when you really get to know somebody, and after their brainwaves are flipped, you find you have more in common than you think. She's like a big sister. Yes, a big sister who used to punch and kick you and mean it. Kids, what? Steve Barkin? Just ask me out. What do I do? I'm weak on the whole dating thing. Say what? Seriously, that whole Draken business didn't leave a lot of time for socializing. Oh, well, the thing is, you, you just sort of, um, I can't believe this is happening. Wait, why don't you come with? We'll make it a double. Me and Ron, with you and Mr. Barkin? Sure! Oh, it'll be a blast! I don't know. What? <laughs> by the way, we'll need to be back by 6. Stevie's taking me roller skating. I love roller skating, but we never go, because Ron always falls. Rufus, tell no one, but I'm missing the old Chico. Ow! 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 I think not! Oh, yeah! <laughs> uh -oh. Not again. You okay? Yes, now. What happened to him? I think he's evil now. Oh, how bad did that be? You'd be surprised. You want evil? I'll show you evil! Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh someone's a little touchy. Hold me. I'll be back! Ah! Hi, bad. <laughs> to see you on the side of justice and all things right and good again. Yeah, what he said. Ditto! It's good to be on the same side. Yeah, Kimmy, I couldn't tell you this when I was evil, but... <laughs> Mistake! Sorry! <laughs> no, I liked her as a good guy, but I guess some people never really change. Yeah, but bright side, no more double dating with Stevie. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, well, I have no idea what just happened, but I am clearly not cut out to help people make life choices. Oh, I wouldn't be so sure. You helped me choose. You? Okay, that time I was a genius. Wait, I made it, but I lost visual contact with Ron. You should be hearing from him just about now. There he is. Ugh, okay, round one goes to the cliff. A flea flicker! Stoppable's off the go! Stoppable! There he goes! My grandmother runs faster than that stoppable. Adequate result, though. Now Kim is the one dating the star of the football team. That's not important to me, Monique. Although Ron has broken more school records than Brick ever did. Brick. If he had just flunked senior year one more time, he'd be here to rule at my side, instead of off at college. Okay, folks, we're in a battle for our football lives here today, so I won't dally. 
As you know, this year we replaced our old-fashioned paper ballots with our own state-of-the-art electronic voting system, which snags second place for Ron Rieger in the Tri-City Science Fair. Rieger assures me that his system is 100% incorruptible. And here we go, the results. I voted for you. This year's homecoming king. I voted for me too. Is Destined? Ugh, she totally cheated her way into that crown. Don't go there, girl. I mean, who does she think she is? Miss, my life is so perfect. Kim, you know she wants you gelling. Don't give her the satisfaction. Oh, you're right. She probably knows I'm watching. Yes, Sturgis. Everyone at school is so excited for me. Right, Kim? Okay, pause off, Sturgis. They don't hand these things out to nobody. Does he know he's not a real king? Does the wannabe want to say something? Want to? Won't. Might not be able to stop at words. Kim, did you hear? We got a ginormous donation for the senior center. That's great. You should be proud. Have you seen the school newspaper? I think Ronnie looks super cute. Ha! Huh, for your scrapbook, Ronnie. That king and queen sure make a cute couple. We do, don't we? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> oh, sorry, KP. Ross, my king. <laughs> Sounds great, but you know, even though you are officially my queen, Kim is much more than that. She's the only girl for me. I know. <laughs> <gasps> the kissy here, not the kisser! No kidding! It took you 12 stinking years to kiss me! Oh, Hugh. Hey, wait a minute. I don't know what you're up to, but this is a new low, even for you. Oh, yeah? Well, speaking of low... Which I am! You? You're? Well... Well, well, I... <laughs> Brick broke up with you? How do you know what she said? It's a girl thing. So I'm the rebound guy? Cool! I've never been the rebound guy! Uh, but, you know, it's not as wonderful as being your guy. How are you at gate jumping? Terrible, but I don't usually find it necessary. <laughs> After you. But I like jumping over stuff. Hey, hey, Brick old buddy, how's college life treating you? That's right. Brian Stoppable? Middleton High? Dude, okay, work with me here. Okay, yeah. Okay, you know what? Brick, Brick, no, it doesn't matter if, if you remember me. Cause you know something, I know you remember a special lady, your precious Bon Bon. <laughs> Bonnie, Bo Bonnie Rockwaller, your high school girlfriend. What, I, okay, I think it's a little harsh to call her the mean girl, she's got, okay, yeah, I mean, that's true, she, she's pretty bossy, and she can be cruel, but I mean, come on, isn't that part of what we love about her? Hey, <laughs> uh-huh, okay, <laughs> all right. Bye-bye. So? You know, college has actually made him smarter. He's completely moved on. Well, I guess our trip to Venice really was a success. Mm-hmm. We got to see a beautiful city, have a semi-romantic boat ride, and it put an end to the queen kissing. Now, you know that I didn't... It's okay. I get it. <laughs> oh, Junior. So, happy ending. Yep. Weird happy ending. <gasps> Rufus. Huh? Lamb kebab. I, I thought I ate that already. Wait a minute. I, if I didn't eat the kebab, that means I ate Rufus! Ron. Oh, my reoccurring nightmares! I have a I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> Ron, you did not eat Rufus. Are you sure, KP? Because whatever I ate was pretty tasty. 99%. Well, you know, there's always a chance my seat will break again. I doubt it. That was just a... Lest you forget, KP, the round man's specialty is breaking things. Oh, yeah. Aha! It's a zombie! Oh, this is embarrassing. Oh, 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 <laughs> Don't be a baby, Ron. How many times did you go through that machine? Well, I lost count. Why? Well, you know, I find the giant diaper a delightful change of pace. Sassy doesn't like men so much. No, no, I'm like barely a man. See, there was this mix-up at my bar mitzvah. Ah, yeah! Force field, fear, stop! No, you and Larry don't exactly share the same planet interests. But you know what? He's just as confused by your cuddle buddy collection as you are by his hobby. I guess. 
How does Larry know about my Cuddle Buddy collection? I, um, might have mentioned something to him. You know, we chat now and then. <laughs> Hamer, a level five tachyon warrior. Scenario three copacetic with everyone? Scenario three, outstanding! Scenario five is more challenging. Don't start with me, Charlotte. Uh, I think I'll just go get a smoothie. Or something. Yeah, sure. <gasps> real world, real world. Phew. Good. I was close. Yeah, you know, that sounds real empty. Echo! 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 Dead end, Wade. What's next? I only pushed one button! Oh no, no trouble at all. Except for the explosion. Explosion? Did you take your sister on a mission? No, no mission, just a... What was that word, Kim? Recon. Right, yeah, we took her on one of those. Perfectly safe, not like a mission. Except for the lasers. There were lasers? <laughs> Isn't that your battle suit? Yeah, uh-huh. How did Larry know where it was, Ron? Oh, I might have mentioned something to him when he was looking for board games. Pretty cool. Yeah, I'm cool like that. Yeah, y y you know what's cooler? Real life. Tell me that's not true. Well, you know, real life does have girls. Got it covered, now check it. Meet the Flippies, Flippies Beach Party, Flippy Size, and their newest DVD simply titled Flippin'. The Flippies of Party on the Potty fame. Oh, don't harsh the flip, KP. Singing, dancing, at the same time, the kids love the Flippies. And apparently some teenagers, too. Were it not for Party on the Potty, I'd still be in diapers today. But, Ron, that DVD has only been out for, like, two years. Oh, time flies. Sweet of you to help Ron babysit our little Hannah. I'm just here for the Flippies. Oh, that's right, you kids have fun, you know, Big Bro's got it all under control. <laughs> ah! I'm in over my head! Water rising! Water rising! It's okay, Ron. Your parents have faith in you, and so do I. I don't understand. Kim, Han is... <gasps> moving! She's moving! Ron! Ah! Ron, how did you... Ah! See? What's the big? See? Your mom said you were a good big brother, so it must be true. Yeah, until Han busts out of the baby bag and decides to do laps on the wing. Okay, come on, Han. Here, come here. All right, let's try the book again, okay? This time, use your whole arm. Page? Page? <laughs> Han? Hey, Hannah, this is the good part. <laughs> And this is the bad part. Let me see if I've got this straight. You secretly placed Han in my family so I could prepare her for a showdown with a malevolent <laughs> mystic monkey? Correct. So why didn't anyone tell me? This is my way of telling you. Oh, I see. Yes, yes, interesting. Well, um, if I had known I was supposed to be teaching her ninja skills, I would have, like, you know, I don't know, maybe taught her some ninja skills! Ah, who am I kidding? I can't even teach her how to turn a page in a book, much less take out some evil dude. I mean, look, look, look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Son. Oh no, Kim. It is up to you and Han now. No, no. <gasps> this is all my fault. Ron. Ron. Kim. <laughs> oh, way to go, Han. Huh? You totally <laughs> saved the day! Damn, she couldn't have done it without her flippy loving big brother. Where's Monkey Fist? Path of the Yono. Path of the Yono. Anna wasn't too much. <laughs> Trouble? <laughs> Ronald, did you carbo load your sister? No. Dad, Han is a super world-saving ninja baby. Wait, you knew this? And you didn't tell us? This is my way of telling you. <laughs> so, the pants under the gown thing, is that like a rule or a guideline? Ron, in the moment. Oh, right. Perfect timing for your doom at the tendrils of my... Monster plants. <laughs> Run out of ideas, Draken. <laughs> 
<laughs> he's mutating. This is new. <laughs> he's, he's, he's a pansy? Um, I'd say Marigold. Do you realize we're actually leaving a lair intact for once? Yeah, you know, I kind of missed the explosion. Ron? Yo, home slice. He's sad. Why are you so, uh... Inappropriately sparkly. Yet the basic black gown does not fit the stoppable, dare to be different lifestyle. Maybe just a class ring. Oh, KP, I am going to make the most of graduation. It's the day they said would never come. Who's they? Oh, a whole slew of people. People with last names like Barkin. Born in Kimmy Cub, I'm off to the country club. Wish me. Whoa, Ronald, you might want to lighten up on the man jewelry. Uh, bling, sir. Mm, not in my house, and not in the company of my daughter. Okay, yeah, maybe just a class ring. In a panic. Maybe I'm overreacting. After what Mr. Barkin said, and then Kim's college offers. Uh huh. Okay, nothing to worry about, right? I don't want Kim to freak. KP, why does it have to end? <laughs> Uh, I guess I sort of freaked. <laughs> uh, so what's the sitch? Well, don't you get it? Situation, it isn't the start of something, it's the end of everything. No, it's not, Ron. We're just graduating. It's not like we're breaking up. <laughs> breaking up? Breaking up? Oh, no, I didn't even think of that. Oh, no, 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 no. It's all going to be okay. Okay? Kim, we're breaking up and we're graduating. No, we're not. Wait, so, okay, we're not graduating? <laughs> I knew I needed to take another PE class. Ron, we're both graduating, but we're not breaking up. We're not? No, it's just graduation. It's not the end of the world. How sure? This sure. <sighs> so, <clears throat> you two still... Dating? Yeah. Really? So the lass isn't tired of your pants losing antics by now? No, things are fine. Okay, okay, don't go all William Wallace on me. I was just asking. Well, don't be asking. Oh, didn't need to see that. Ron, do you have change? No, I do not have change. Change is bad. Why do we even need change? For a newspaper. So long, Middleton High. See? So not the end of the world. Living so far away. Oh, I miss you. I do too, Nana. It's awful to be far from somebody you love. More college ex- Hey, future. I'm ready for anything you throw at me. Look, Kim, I don't know what's gonna happen. Wade thinks it's sunspots. No, not the power. What I'm saying is, after graduation, you're you're headed to the stars, and, um... Ron? What? I'm stuck on Earth, but I don't want to hold you back, so whatever happens, I'm okay with it. Oh, Ron. Uh not the end of the world. Hey, me! <gasps> Kim's lost in the stars, I'm finding her. Uh, well, I think we might be better off on... What? Why do you get to be in charge? You are not the boss of me. And that's why I'm in charge. We need to figure a way in. Uh, easy. Look for the garbage hatch. Oh, yeah. I'm sure they have a garbage... Eh. And the first booyah in space. A booyah! Hang on. <laughs> Not to me! KP! Run! Hey, uh... Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, about time you got here. Now, what if Kim goes off to some fancy schmancy college on the other side of the world while I'm stuck at home jockeying for Smarty Mart Employee of the Month? Walk will not be ignored. Oh, I am with you, man, but hey, out of sight, out of mind. You know, she gets wrapped up in her studies. I call, I text, does she answer? Sorry, busy. It's killing me! Oh, I'm talking.
talking about graduation and, uh, and us and what comes after. This whole thing has shown me that I can't live without you. Ron, please, get a grip. Nothing is going to come between us. Except that. I can't live without you. At the very least, we're talking major bone breakage. Anyway, you don't think I'm scared too? Mm -hmm. Scared? Hey, this was real, but I've got to graduate before some other disaster strikes. And stick us with cleanup duty? Please and thank you. Yeah, no, no way. Ugh, just go. I'm not a child. Check your calendar. It's graduation day. <laughs> Summon the mystical monkey power. Sensei? You are the monkey master. I am? Hmm. This is your destiny. You are ready. I am. Hey, Warhawk! His monkey power is strong. Booyah. Possible. Thanks, Mr. Barkin. Uh, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> well, things are gonna be boring here without you, Possible. Ronald Stoppable. Mr. B? Just couldn't follow the graduation dress code. Nonconformist punk! I gotta be true to my essential runness. Graduation wasn't the end of the world. This is our game. This is our game. It's our turn to make a change. Come on, come on, and shout. 